Death is Ridiculous Podcast. My name is DK Diamantes, his name is Bricky, and oh boy, bugs. But before we get into that, if you enjoyed today's episode, head on over to the Patreon and consider supporting us at patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous. You can get access to the Discord, bloopers if they happen. The $15 tier gets you all of our HD posters, including just the most amazing, sweltering zote abs you've ever seen. Patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous. Bricky, how about the merch? The merch? You can check out the merch at Orchidate.com down in the description. Check it out. We've got we got posters. You can buy all the posters. There's a lot of them. There's some great options for posters. Uh, I think we've sold out of the mats already almost within a week. Oh, uh, there damn. might be a few... There might be a few left, but probably not. But you could still get the uh, poster versions of the music of the third if you'd like, or the shirts and hoodies version of them as well. Uh, and so lots of Sheesh. awesome merch down there. Also, get yourself some dice. We have dice. Mm. And then read Storm of Iron, which is the book club. And we are going to be filming that this week. So check it out Ooh. this weekend. Iron Within. Iron Without. Hell yeah, brother. It's a good book. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't know if it's my favorite book, but I am thoroughly enjoying it. I am... mm. Nothing wrong with a good B or B+. Mm Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, Shy wanted to address something. She said, we are not, not doing a sexy Neuralictor poster, and you should leave her alone about it, because it's overdone. That's the kind of statement I would hear from someone who is currently working on a sexy Neuralictor poster. <laughs> I will I will be honest with you. I am one of the people that messaged Shy after that episode, and I was like, you know what would really, with Bricky, if we did a Neuralictor poster? And she was like, God damn it, it's so overdone. Don't talk to me ever again. And I was like, oh. I mean, fair, but also just imagine Bricky's reaction to a Neuralictor poster. I mean... My reaction would be pretty annoyed, but I feel like we would sell it out almost immediately, much like the um, the Luna Wolves furry poster. I mean, actually, that's a that's a fair point. That probably would sell like hotcakes, wouldn't it? You know, I'd screw it. Speaking of of sexy nit, speaking of nids, speaking of sexy nids, speaking of nids, it's day two. Yay! Yay! Yay. That means. Big bug. I love it when we have days like this where, like, we're doing two-part episodes because the second part doesn't have a quote I can screw up. And I can just be free and happy. I love it. I mean, I guess I could use a quote, but, like, you know the episode, so that that is true. There could be a quote. It's my my favorite kind of episode. It's his favorite. Favorite kind of episode. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lovely. Finger looking good. So, we talked about Tyranid Bioforms in the last episode, mm-hmm. and it was small bug. Mm-hmm. Small. I now, mean, they were good size, but yeah. It was small bug and like normal bug. <laughs> now it's time for big bug. The Monster Mash, let's go. The Monster Mash lists, indeed. The big bugs. The ones you run when you want to run Tyranid Monster Mash. So, Mm. there's a lot, actually. I bet there are. I bet these are the favorites. Well, well, yeah. No, I I guess guess you probably say, I I would probably agree. Some people like their their classic, uh, lots of warriors and stuff. Some people really like their big spam of little termagants and stuff they like their their uh the title the, the wave is, yeah yeah um but um there is definitely a group for monster mash people and also monster mash is cheaper to play because it's just a bunch <laughs> of couple models <laughs> always an important factor always important factor. Mm. so uh well, let's start off with something a little a little thinner a little a little slender yeah okay let's start off with the the lovely moloch uh, you may remember the Moloch in a couple stories. Uh, this is the gigantic worm style one that tunnels in the ground and eats people. Uh, okay. I mean, it definitely sounds familiar. I mean, that is a very nid thing to do to tunnel and eat people. The 
one, the story that you probably will remember is the one, uh, there it is. Whoa! Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Typical Tau L. <laughs> Poor Tau. <laughs> it's up um, close and personal. Those Tau are dead. They are so doomed. Uh, you remember it from the story of Nork Deadog, where Nork Sergeant was getting eaten by one of these things whole, and it ran up and headbutted so hard it broke a mandible and then grabbed his sergeant out? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I do remember that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is what a Moloch looks like. It is enormous, and it is actually entirely blind. Uh, it's a very it's a very simple organism. It goes underground, and it tears its way through the tunnels very quickly, either eating or ripping apart all kinds of stuff, rock, bone, uh, sand, gravel, yeah. stone, freaking steel. If there's a bunker. And it kind of just slides its way through until it eventually bursts out from the under the ground in a very important area in the back lines. And then just starts to kill everything and eat them alive. Cool. Cool. So I'm yeah. assuming it's a very sensory bug because obviously it doesn't have eyes. So it relies very much on like the vibrations of the ground as it's digging through and stuff. Yeah, this is kind of your... Um, do you remember? Uh, I don't know exactly the best way to describe it, but when I think of like Zerg and stuff, I, I think. Uh, Ooh, the uh, mini is nice. That looks like an older mini, but very wow. It does. It's um, it is Tremors. That's true. It is basically Tremors. Uh, it is an older mini. I think a lot of these minis came out in sixth edition. Um, it does have eyes, but it is still totally blind. Um, uh, I, I think that's why it has those weird milky eyes. Yeah, like they're just covered over. <clears throat> yeah, it evolved um, past needing them. It is certainly tr it is certainly very tremorsy, but uh, the I mean, this is not the most difficult to understand bug in the world. It's no. very big. It's actually like like a really large model. Actually, it um, looks big. It's like the size of like a mini knight, like an armager. Oh wow, that is large. Large. That is a, that's a big boy. So uh, basically, in like, there's two of these guys, right? So there's the Moloch, and then there's something called the Trigon. And they serve two separate purposes. Damn it, Shy. I, I literally have that in my notes. <laughs> I was about to read that. Shy doesn't trust you to get these good quotes, man. She doesn't trust she, you to get the good stuff. She always thinks that I'm not, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Gosh darn it. All right. Well, now I have to read it now. Yep, are you, you, you going to post the guy getting hit? No. Did you read the book for the book club? No, of course I didn't. But I uh -oh. will have it read on time. Uh -oh. Uh oh, damn. She thinks she thinks she can beat me by not by the fact that I haven't read the book yet. But jokes on her. It'll be read by the time we do the book club. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm not getting caught in this crossfire. Oh boy. Yeah, you read the book. I uh, well, I I still have a little ways to go. I have like an hour left in it, so you know. Well, that's better than me. Anyway, quote. According to the Ordo Xena, oh, this is actually by uh, Amber Lee Vale. Uh, the, oh, Vale, uh, Miss Vale. Miss Vale, Caiaphas Kane's uh, yes. lovely squeeze. Yes. Says, according to the Ordo Xenos, it is a flight of fancy that anything unlucky enough to be swallowed whole by a Moloch survives long enough to experience the agony of being digested. Oh. Such a victim would, <laughs> I, uh, sorry, they would not, like it's a flight of fancy that they would not be, survive oh. long enough to experience the agony. Such a victim would either be crushed to death by the contractions of its gullet or suffocate within a few minutes, which, as Inquisitor Amberly Vale admitted, isn't all that comforting. No, I was going to say, if they're getting digested, Shy should play that clip from Nope where the people are literally getting digested by... It's, it's such an unsettling scene. They're getting digested and screaming. Yeah. yeah, so I I kind of have like a like a like a vorphobia kind of oh, thing. You don't want to watch I, I, I find then. yeah, I I find all that stuff to be really really gross and oh, weird. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And and uh and I and people who are into vor I think less of uh from a, just a just a, a bait. I think I think they should not vote. I think their voting <laughs> rights should be stripped stripped from them if they uh if they get off to that stuff. I will kink shame you. 
I mean, Vor is a weird one. Vor is a super weird one. I don't get it. Uh, but well, Shy says except if it's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog is the only acceptable ver- variant. And I, I feel like it's appropriate in in the Monster Mash episode to talk about our our fears of Vor, right? Because these things will literally eat you. They, yeah, they the, the will Moloch bore the hell out of you in mass quantities. The the Moloch in particular has. Uh, a ungodly amount of attacks with their their uh, talents and stuff, uh, but specifically they have the um, distensible jaw, which is a one single attack meant mm. to eat people. So, also, uh, how are the Molochs, uh in game? Like, how does like the blindness work? Like, does it matter that they're blind in game? Does that nah. factor? In? Okay, that doesn't factor in at all. That's just an in game lore thing. But or yeah. it, it still senses like tremors and stuff. Yeah. Like it, it kind of it knows where you are despite being blind. Right. Um. They the Moloch operates much more of a like uh, uh terror from the deep is their ability. Basically, when they arrive from deep strike or something, they just kind of burst out there and do damage to things. And then they nice. start immediately stabbing it and murdering it. Of course, of course. So as pretty classic. do, yeah, yeah. The other option is the <clears throat> Trigon. Uh, the Trigon is really similar to the Moloch, except it has a bit of a different uh, role. It's got much larger talons. You know, the Moloch has its big mouth and a bunch of little arms. Oh, yeah. The Trigon yeah. has two really big arms that oh. it uses to kill you. Um, Lovely. Just what they needed. Bigger arms and bigger claws. Okay. But mainly the Trigon is used kind of like um the Nidus. Ooh, that mini? Holy shit. Yeah, he's big. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's that's a really nice mini too. Like that one blows the Moloch mini out the water. I'm assuming it is significantly newer, but wow, that is terrifying. No, I think they're the exact same kit. It's no just you build, way. You build it either as a Moloch or you build it as a Trigon. Though, oh, I, well, I get well. One is just painted a lot better then. Fair enough. The uh, the Trigon though, and also it looks better with the big arms than the tiny little small arms. True, it does. It does. But the Trigon actually is more like the Nidus worm in in Starcraft, where as it <laughs> digs through, it still murders stuff, but. It has this cool, like, little biostatic rattle. And it, it oh. kind of, like, it's, it's really weird. It kind of, like, glasses the tunnel it makes by using this this electric, like, biostatic, weird synapse, b- 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 rattle, electricity thing. It almost, like, glasses the tunnel it moves through to huh. keep it open. And so a bunch of bugs will follow it. And then oh. they'll be like... So like the, like a little the tunnel, tunnel can't collapse. It yeah, just exactly. forces the tunnel. Oh, that's cool. That is very strategic. Also, when you said Nidus Worm, I had Warframe PTSD to the maximum. God damn it. It's it's a it's a day from the past. I have the same thing with League of Legends. Mm-hmm. 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 Anyway, so those are the Moloch type ones. We have a couple oh, we have many others. Uh the Toxicrine. I love the Toxicrine. This okay. mini is so much fun. It is way too big, and it can never <laughs> be fielded on the battlefield because it's way too big, and it's terrible to move around on the battlefield. Wait, and it's really? just yeah, oh yeah, it's it's so awful. It's it's hard to describe. Once Shy posts the there it is. Whoa! It's like a kraken. It's like ooh, those tentacles, though. Hey, what you doing with those? So those tentacles. That that it's not like, that picture is a little hard to really show it off. They extend like the length of the body to both left and right, so it's like the oh. width of like a bane blade. Oh, so this is oh, so it's just a very cumbersome model. Yes, it's very oh, okay. difficult to move around. Yeah, I imagine um, those those tentacles like for the mini anyway. They probably get broken a lot just like trying to move it around and reposition. They probably get broken a lot, don't they? All the time. Mm-hmm. A lot of super so, glue on those. It's uh, it's actually a pretty big boy, and uh, the tentacles are obviously there to grab and thrash out whatever gets close to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the most importantly, as a toxic cream, if you look at it on its back, it's got a bunch of uh, clouds of spores that just keep blasting out of its dorsal chimneys. Ew. 
And uh, at, these are really nasty because they, when they're breathed in, they force themselves into the respiratory system of whatever breathes them in. They nestle, embed, and then feed on the moisture of the host and grow at an astonishingly fast rate, causing organs to rupture, airways to close, and filling the lungs with blood. Ew. Oh, yeah. that's such a nid thing to do, but it does not stop it from being just so gross. So the thing just dries you out like beef jerky while destroying all of your organs? Yeah, and it also goes through most protective gear, including power armor. Oh, so even space marines aren't safe from this thing, huh? It's just like, oh, I have ceramide plate. Don't care. Thump. Yep, gotta breathe something. Ugh. I feel like they could like close it off for a bit when finding a toxic cream to be like only breathe like reserve air in their suit or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but it won't last long. Yeah. Much that's... like them being out in open space. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. Of- often they're accompanied by venom thropes. We talked about those last episode, obviously. Uh, yes, our deep thropes. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, feel you be proud of yourself. I am. So, I was so happy about coming up with that on the spot. I was very pleased with myself. Yeah, I wasn't. Deep throat poster shy. How about that one? That's that's clever. That's unique, huh? Although that's I've not, mentioned it on an episode now, so it's never gonna happen. So nope. Yeah. Oh well. Uh. So let's talk about some new ones. Let's talk about some new ones. So let's, we've yeah. already. We're not gonna talk about the Norns. Um, as we've seen, the only lore of the Norn emissaries came from the Leviathan book. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you want to learn about the new Norn emissary, you can check it out in the Leviathan episode. Mm -hmm. Put the card in, put the card, the card. But we also have the Psychophage and the Neuro Tyrant. Ooh, the Neuro Tyrant. I like that name. Tyrant. These are the ones you have kind of already seen. Uh, and okay. they're both in the new Leviathan box, if I am unmistaken. Okay. Um, the Psychophage, we'll start with first, is a psyker consuming bug. It eats psychers. Oh, yuck. He's Whoa, a, cool yeah. mini, though. God damn. It's a really cool mini. So wow. What it does is it metabolizes psychic life forms into a sort of corrosive ash, which it will then <laughs> fire from those dorsal chimneys on its back as a weapon. Oh, wow. So it eats psychers and then blows them out of its little chimneys? It, it basically dissolves the psychic energy from the thing it ate and shoots it out as a corrosive ash. It's very weird. And... Oh. and not it's, cr- it's Yoshi. Shy's right. It's Yoshi, but for psychers. I didn't even know this. Yay! Cursed Yoshi. I did. I did not need to know this one bit. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some um, artist that's got to make it happen, right? Oh, and like right below its big butt, they have like a big Yoshi egg that it, it's, it poops out mm-hmm. on the bottom. Yep. 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 Oh, they, oh it's they, so cursed. You do like gr- do like green armor for the mm-hmm. thing, and then like, oh no, mm-hmm. oh mm-hmm. what if can you can you paint like a small termagant like Mario and put it on its back? Oh yes, 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 definitely. All right, this is the worst thing I've ever heard of. Let's go. Let's move on. Oh, let's go, um, fan art. Nero Tyrant. So mm-hmm. this you've seen already as well. Uh, this is the one with the funny little dancing boys that uh, accompany it. Oh, yeah, I have seen these. <laughs> it does look like it. That looks like a meme waiting to happen. Oh, it already happened. Okay, cool. Just making sure, because that's, I was just like, there's no way someone hasn't made like a, a dance party meme with this, right? Absolutely has already occurred. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a really cool mini, though. That's a it really is. dope mini. The, uh, the Nero Tyrant is basically a giant focusing node for the shadow in the warp. It is oh. a... Much like the zone thropes and the Nero thropes, it just kind of floats across the battlefield. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't smack you up with the, uh, oh, there it is. Look at him go. Oh, it's not on loop. Oh, I can imagine, though. It's you okay. can see I, it. I, I, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, oh, no, my voice. Oh, no, Bricky's <laughs> dying. <laughs> You're All not right, allowed to die, Bricky. I fixed myself. 
Um, but the Nero Tyrant, yes, the Nero Tyrant is a a major like psychic beacon point from the Shadow and the Warp. And if you get close enough, it'll whack you with its tendrils. But mainly the main thing is to relay important synapse to other less developed creatures and also use its gigantic brain power to look liquefy your mind into a mulch. Ah, cool. Great. That sucks. It also makes the shadow and the warp just a bit better. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, at, at the point you see a giant brain, your mind should immediately go, hmm, brain blast. Mm-hmm. Yep. So this thing just makes the shadow and the warp a little bit bigger and a little harder to, like, get through, essentially. So, so in-game, uh, what it does is that when you activate the once-per-game shadow and the warp, uh, it, it makes it so that everyone takes their test at an, at an extra minus one. Um, but the little guys are actually acting as tokens, when you you fire synapse out into different creatures near it, and then those creatures can move on and forward with synapse still on them active. So yeah, it's like a little relay network. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, sorry, that's not fair. It's not a relay network. It's what Shy said. A command. It's a mobile command center, ah. but it is also often accompanied by those little Nero gaunts, the little like uh, relay beacons guys, the parasite on them. Mm-hmm. We saw talked about last <clears throat> time. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be accompanied by them a lot as well. Oh, okay, naturally, because um, why wouldn't it? Yeah, and then Brain so those guys stick like, together. Yeah, they they push the little um little neurolids, the tiny boys, out, and they're like, okay, we put synapse here, we put synapse here, and then we go brrrr. Right. So if you um, see one of these, no matter who you are, it can just melt your brain. Like even if you're like a space marine or something, it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna. Your brain is. It, it's much like the other. Uh, Zone tropes and stuff. It's a big brain bug that'll blast you. Gotcha. And yeah, that Shy makes a good point. It's true. If you if you see a tear in it, it's you're already in for a bad time because that means the swarm is there. Like you're never gonna see just this guy. If you see this guy, chances are there are a billion other tyranids that are making a beeline to eat you. So also there, yeah. I think in the tenth edition like cinematic trailer they made. Uh, a Terminator, a Ultramine Terminator librarian gets its mind like completely snuffed out by one of these things. Let's go! Just... <laughs> God damn it, I forgot about the, yeah! the Ultramarine parts. The Ultramarine's getting smoked? Let's go! Tyranids, Tyranid fan number one right here. Let's go! So, Ultramarine bashing on our bingo card uh, yeah, checked check. off. Um, we let's talk about what might be one of the most iconic Tyranid models out, uh, not a model, but Tyranid out there outside of the warrior and the gaunt. Mm-hmm. We're talking the Carnifex. Ooh, I have heard this name and not just from Mass Effect. Yeah, ah, that's such a good pistol. Such a reliable pistol. Oh, my God. Those headshots are just like mm-hmm. clean, crispy, mm. thick, thick pistol boys. Mm-hmm. Mm. Anyway, um, the Carnifex is a basically a living battering ram slash shock troop. <laughs> what All makes right. them super exciting and fun for people is that the fact that they're often really customize, customizable. Oh, uh, and also, okay. yes, that is a, a rhino it is currently smashing into. Oh, the, uh, oh, oh, oh. Big. Oh wow, he's huge! I, I when I first saw the picture, I wasn't quite sure what I was looking at. I was just like, "Oh yeah, you know, I've kind of seen this thing before. That's that's cool. That's great." And then Shy's like, "That's a tank," and you're like, "Yeah, that's a wow. That's all." I mean, big it's smaller. Boy. It's smaller than the Molochs and stuff we talked about so far. Um, but it's but also like storming a tank. It's also blasting a tank. <laughs> they they often have real they're really big and heavy, but they also more particularly have a a thick thick carapace that they basically use as a living battering ram. They just go they're they're rhinos they're big rhinos. They even have the horn. Mm, damn, he thick though. He is thick though. He is thick with three C's. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So as a basically living battering ram. Uh, they are one of the – they're also very customizable, like I said. So they, they are equipped with all kinds of tools. So they can fire 
big guns, heavy weapons and stuff. Oh, but they, they have also guns? they can also be fitted out with guns. How? They they just have claws. What are they gonna fire it? Well, it's it, I guess it's tearing. It's it who needs who needs fingers when you have living bioweapons, right? Oh, oh DK, you you silly man. The the, the Nora Queen will just make a version that has a gun in it. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, there's there's no standard <laughs> template of Carnifex. You just oh. change it up. Okay, I didn't I didn't realize the Norn Queen could just be like, mm, this one should have a gun. So, ah, oh, fingers. Oh yeah, she okay. she's like the architect of a bio customization. She's like, oh, oh crap, we need some big tank tanky nids with guns. Uh, all right, Carnifexes, heavy venom cannon, Stranglethorn cannon. Blech. So she's a, she's a, essentially the Norn Queen is a Tyranid 3D printer. That's not inaccurate. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> also, those minis are great. I love the way those uh, those minis look. Those are mm, I don't know if it's the paint job or whatever, but those are great. So they're a bit old. They're like sixth edition as well. Um, but and before before you hop onto it too quick. Uh, there is also three variants of Carnifex: the Stone Crusher, Thornback, and Screamer Killer. Oh, uh, the, the Screamer Killer, eh? The Screamer Killer is that bottom right image, the mm-hmm. which was a brand new mini that just came out with the he Leviathan looks, box. He looks good. Yeah, he does. He looks real good. I mean, they're all good. Like for being kind of old, they're all really nice. But that Screamer Killer is nice. So the we'll do the screamer killer last. The, the okay. thorn back is a version of Carnifex that is a lot more of short to medium range ballistic weaponry, uh, like living parasites, bombs, kind of more of like a mobile howitzer slash artillery piece. Okay, um, but also kind of close range. It's just like imagine a Carnifex is just entirely rolling up there, just going like thunk 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 thunk. Which is terrifying because they appear to be very tanky and hard to kill. So when those things are outfitted with guns, I imagine it is just a huge problem. It is. Uh, there's the Stone Crusher, which is basically a Carnifex with like a wrecking ball, a, like a a bio <laughs> wrecking ball. Where where where's that mini? Where's the Tyranid with the bio wrecking ball? Where's that at? I want that customization. <laughs> It's very old. Uh, I don't <laughs> think they make it anymore. I don't think okay. you can run it anymore. Damn. Um, but oh, it has hey, like that's really cool. Actually, the one that shot that's actually a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. It's kind of derpy still, but it is a little neat. I'm glad it's not like uh, that Michael Bay Transformers movie where they made Devastator and he had literal wrecking ball testicles. Oh, the second Transformers. Oh, that was the second one? Oh, my God. Yeah, wasn't, wasn't he, like, on a pyramid or something? Yeah, he sure was, and they had the racist robots, and... Mm, oh. <laughs> what a bad movie. You love to hear it. You really don't. Uh, but the streamer killer is the newest uh, remade one, and it's basically a... It, well, what do you think this... What do you think the screamer killer does? Um, I, I, I think he just... So it's it's either it's one of them like banshee bugs that screams and just blows you to pieces or you see the thing and you can't help but scream and then he just cuts you to ribbons. Uh, the uh, the former was correct. Ah. It has a, a bioplasma screech. Yummy. Yeah. In, uh, in game, it forces people to take like battle shock tests and stuff, which mm-hmm. is very fun. Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah, the old Screamer <laughs> Killer was a little... <laughs> that, 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 one, that one came out when you were, like, born, so in Fair fairness. Fair enough. I, I, bet, I bet you anything it was before I was born that that thing came. That is... Wow. It was in the 90s. Oh, uh, okay. I, I, well, yeah, I was alive in the 90s. Okay. Uh, I guess so was I, but yeah. 95. Yeah. Oh, God, that was a while ago, wasn't it? It was. But uh, the new Screamer Killer looks really good. Oh, yeah. What a glow up. Holy shit. Um, so after the Carnifexes, oh, well, we should we should mention him real quick. There's also old one eye. 
Oh, uh, old one. I, I remember old one. The one that they're not sure if it's dead or not, or if they keep making a new one that just happens to be the one-eyed um, base template, right? Y- yep, that is the, uh, it is a sp- fancy, unique <clears throat> Carnifex. Uh, that is a fourth edition miniature. Oh. It is really old. So I mean, for an old mini, that looks right. Also, I didn't realize old one eye was a Carnifex. I thought old yeah. one eye was a, a little bit of a smaller Tyranid. Uh, didn't realize it was a Carnifex. He is a Carnifex. You can actually nice. uh, use him in game, and you attach him to other Carnifexes, and y'all get really good. Ooh, uh, he I, also I, heals a lot of health really fast. Ooh, I, I like old one eye just because I have a one eyed cat. So I I, I am. Uh, I'm. I, I like the one-eyed things. I like the cyclopses and the one-eye. You know, because because my, my my cute little cat is just the one-eyed. It's a cute little one-eyed cat. Isn't your VTuber also have one eye? Yep my my new VTuber is going to be a cyclops as well. Let's I go. The, I, I got the idea from my cat. Um. So uh, after I mean, oh, one-eye. We I think we meant, you mentioned it and you already had it on the top of your head. It's basically just. Yeah, it keeps on dying, but they're like, it keeps coming back. What the hell? Mm-hmm. It's so, like, what? And they're not sure if it's the one eye or. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's go on with more of like bugs the size of battle tanks, like battle tank bugs. Hell yeah. Uh, like monst- uh, monstrous creatures, one thing, but it's like a war machine. Mm-hmm. So first things first, the Turvagon. Ooh, I've heard this name before. You have. This is the one with a belly full of termagants. Oh, no, it's this gross thing. Oh, man. And the mini looks disgusting because it's got all the bleh coming out of it. I, lo- I, lo- I just love the idea of it spawning termagants. And he's like, he already has a gun because it's a termagant. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, boys coming out of the womb strapped with a Tech 9. <laughs> yeah. Ready to. Oh, I can't. that's right. Shy doesn't like it when I swear. Mm-hmm. Uh, ready to hurt you. Up, <laughs> ready to shoot you up. That mini is so gross. That big old like sack thing and the termagant coming out of it and just mama. It's, oh, <laughs> mama dodged this nine mil. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Man, was there a was there a different? Is this a new mini? Because I remember seeing maybe it was a picture of it where it was just like its stomach was. Ex- Exploding with termagants. Uh no, this is not a new mini. This is this is I think still sixth edition. Oh, okay. Most of the big bugs are around since sixth. Okay. Uh Turbagons have been known to smash great breaches in fortress walls, pressing their birthing sacks into the <laughs> gap to unleash scores of lesser organisms directly into the enemy ranks. I hate that it says pressing their birthing sacks. I hate that. I hate it. That is a sentence I never want to hear again. Some cursed words right there. Not yes, gonna sir. Lie. <laughs> Do not press your birthing sack against me or my walls. Thanks. The um, uh, they often are so most of the time, term uh, tyranids are asleep when they travel in their big bio ships. Fair. Uh, these ones are not. They kind of roam the ship, kind of acting as like little sentries and guards. Mm-hmm. And if there's ever an intruder, they'll spawn a bunch of termagants and then fire their synapse to wake up more bugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, termagants are synapse creatures. They're actually like a big leader bug. Um, oh, okay. They're they're pretty they're pretty important as like you know the mother kind of thing. Sure. And they often they often stay back just to kind of keep birthing more nids. Yeah. But uh, if they got us, sometimes they'll come up and start fighting. And I mean, look at them. They're not like they're going to be a, a pushover. No, definitely not. They're not a pushover, and they're going to be sur- – they're just a never-ending spawn of termagants. So mm-hmm. – also, it's weird. When they're doing sentry and everyone's sleeping, you'd think they would, like, you know, birth a couple of, like, guards to be around it, too. I mean – They are the guards. That's true. But you'd think it would want to have, like, a posse with it while it's doing sentry work. Well, considering how – uh how big these ships are, I'm sure they have many termagants running around. <laughs> true enough. True enough. Uh, besides that, the Turvagon can actually be made into a different kit, something called the Tyrannofex. Ooh, and nice name. The Tyrannofex is a, a really interesting bug. It is basically like your mainline battle tank. Eh, it's maybe not even the mainline battle tank. It's like, it's like your big tank that you use to shoot other tanks. So ah. It, it's monstrous. I think it is the... 
highest health and highest armored uh, Tyranids in the game outside of like the really big bugs. Mm. Uh, like the ones you get from Forge World. So a lot of people probably run this thing then. Well, no, not necessarily. It's a really big know. tanky bug. People don't run it. I mean, it. you know, don't forget, like points is a thing. Oh, that's true. That's true. Since it's so big and tanky, it probably costs an arm and a leg. Yeah. And, and you know, so uh, but that's what it looks Ooh, like. What a cool mini. It's the bug with a giant gun. Giant cannon. I don't know why that one doesn't look strange that it's holding a gun at all. Like, it just looks like it kind of belongs. Yeah, I can it kind of like gets burst out of its its arm, but it is a little weird, but it, it does look pretty cool. Yeah. Um the Tyrannofex has three different kinds of weapons. Uh the main one that you see in that photo is something known as the rupture cannon. Oh no. <laughs> I, I bet you don't want to get hit by that. I mean, you don't want to get hit by any gun, obviously, but oh boy, I imagine the rupture gun hurts a lot. The rupture cannon is is quite a weapon in game. It's only got two shots, uh, but it has like, it, it's, it's basically like tower railgun levels of powerful. Oh. Um, granted it's, it's damage characteristic is two D six, which means two dice, mm -hmm. which is hilarious to me. Cause you could just roll like snake eyes and do two damage <laughs> um, with that big old rupture cannon. It's like with only pew, two shots, pew. Uh, but the rupture cannon fires two cannonballs in quick succession. The first is a bloated tick that bursts, showering the target in oil. And oh. the second is an incredibly hard, impenetrable seed pod, which, when striking the target, will dissolve the shell of the seed pod into the oil and, within a fraction of a second, implode on itself. Oh, Cool. Which will take a tank and basically take like a rhino or something and just implode it from the inside out, just like a like a almost like a miniature black hole just went and then it crumbles it like a can. Ah, so the the name rupture cannon comes forth, huh? Oh boy. So uh, yeah, yeah. The other weapons they have are the acid spray, which is basically a gigantic store of digestive juices that it just sprays on everything and it melts Ew. down armor and flesh. Ew. And lastly is the flesh borer hive, which is one of my personal favorite looking ones. Whoa. It is a seething colony of flesh borer beetles that we talked about in the last oh. episode <laughs> that are just fired on mass. Yeesh, if you have tryptophobia, is it, I think it's, that's what it's called. Anyway. Trypophobia. I, tripopho I don't know why I always call it tryptophobia, but yeah, this is probably not the mini for you. <laughs> that one, uh, yeah, because you fire like two shots of it, of the flesh bore gun with like, a Katermagon, and this one fires 20. So it's <laughs> it's it's like a Gatling gun of beetles. Ew, gross. Great mini, but ew. Man, the nids are so gross, as they should be. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, so as its main battle tank kind of thing, this thing is just really chunky. It also has a bunch of uh, things on its back, uh, a couple anti-infantry weapons like stinger salvos to fire at people to get too close. But yeah, it does as look the like main it has some line. like uh, stingers back there that it could maybe fire off or something. Which uh, actually perfectly moves us into the other main battle line shooty one called the Exocrine. Oh, never heard uh, about this, this one. Gun. Oh, right. right. It looks like a. Okay, I'm 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 waiting for the picture. Uh, it is a. Uh, it's it's a pretty popular model actually. Okay. Because it's just got a. It's a bug with a gigantic gun on its back, but it has a uh, it was something called the bioplasmic cannon, which is a giant ball of plasma or streams of fire from its uh, back, which is, of course, allowing cool. it to fire super long range firepower. And mm -hmm. because it's bioplasma, it fires it about everything. Oh, yeah, that is that is that's like the. um. What was the thing that just got remade in the last episode? Uh, with, it was it looked like a gorilla at first, and then it turned into the really cool spider thing with the big cannon. That would be the biovor. The biovor, yeah, it's like that one. It's a fleshy <laughs> cannon. Yeah, yeah, except except big. 
Yeah, this one looks weird. I don't I don't love the the aesthetic on that one to be honest with you. Uh I don't know what I don't know if it's because like the he looks like the the bug kind of looks like it's like a little flatter and I don't know something about that smile on its face with a big yes. cannon is just like I don't know, I don't like it. I the like uh, it. I, I think it's kind of funny cuz it looks like a big <laughs> but besides that, sure. I don't know. I um, just don't like it. I mean, it's it's just eh, I don't know. Well, it's Good to we move on from that one then in that case because <laughs> I want to talk about the Maliceptor. Okay, okay. The Maliceptor is a really bizarre bug. Um, it is basically the big tank, battle line tank version of a psychic bug. Oh, it's like okay, what if you wanted to do a big chunky tank style bug, but instead of it firing guns, it is a psychic brain. Wow. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. And uh, and there it looks. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's, it's a got little, the little. It's got the little brain windows on the side. Yeah, it's a little goofy. I'm not a huge fan of the model. It's once again another sixth edition model, probably. I don't um, hate it. I think it's fine. It's fine. I, I like his face. I like the carapace covering his eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of, he has no eyes. He's also blind. <laughs> I have um, no eyes, and I need to see. But the Maliceptor is like. I'd say besides the Norn Emissary, the number one embodiment of the pure, actually it's probably even more of it than the Norn Emissary, of the hive mind psychic power. Basically, oh, okay. it just advances into battle and with its brain just vaporizes everything in its path. <laughs> really? It just <laughs> it, basically like it just wow. fires unimaginable energy from the hive mind into everything it touches. So uh, this must be a very popular mini then. Very people like it. thing to run with the Monster Mash, I assume. People like it a lot. In ninth edition, it was horrendously overpowered. <laughs> um, people ran them a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Maliceptors basically walk around and they're like, Psyker, ex- head explode, head explode, head explode. You, you bring Kill five Lonjaro. of them. Oh, yeah. You bring five of them and then you just watch as it, it levels a, a city. By using its brain. And you don't need to be a psyker to be affected by this thing, right? Like, you could just be a space marine and it'll, like, pop your head. Oh, God, yeah. Like, it, it'll, psychic energy, right? And then it can also just in- do this crazy thing where it blocks all of your incoming fire because it's got a giant psychic, like, you know, field. Wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, if, if, I, if I were a Nids player, I'd run, like, five of them. Sure, why not? These are they're really rare in in universe lore. It's not that common that a Maliceptor is deployed just because of the way this kind of bug is. And, and it's it's such a specific kind of task, oh, uh, yeah, but yeah. it's really often used against heavy Psyker forces. So if you're there fighting Eldar or oh, something yeah, like that, Eldar would get wrecked by this thing, wouldn't they? they had it's, no chance it's, against one of them would tear through an army. It's known to be spectacularly level, spectacular levels of violence when fighting psychers. <laughs> All right, uh, and sense. of course, sure. as you can see in the in the in the image, being near it, you know, like even if it doesn't brain blast you, it'll still kill you. Yeah, it'll still it'll still uh, impale you on one of its arms. Sure, sure. Yeah, it'll still stab you. Oh yeah, it's still a problem. Oh oh. Ugh. Yeah. The Maliceptor is a is a is an interesting bug. I kind of like it. It has some pretty good brain blast power in game, but to like, and it's it's a little expensive for my taste. How expensive um, is it? I don't know, like more than I want to use. <laughs> Very specific. I don't know. I mean, if I told you how many points it would be, would you really know? Well, what? Every army is 2,000 points, right? So I could at least have a guess at, like, is if you're like, oh, yeah, it's 500 points. It's like, wow, that's a that's a chunky amount of points if you're only allowed 2,000 points. No, okay, it's not that many points. It's, I'm just it's, saying, you know, I, I, I could make you, a you know, rough guess. You know what? Look. Hey, look, man. Unit composition, 165. That's, I mean, cons- from how strong this thing sounds, 165 doesn't seem that bad. It's more that it's like abilities are kind of just they're just OK. OK. And also it's big brain blast is like fine, but nothing crazy. 
Oh, okay. Now, okay, you know what? If we're going to talk about under-costed things, if we're going to talk about <laughs> things that are way too cheap, mm-hmm. let's talk about the horror specs. Okay. The, the horror, horror spec or the horror specs? The horror specs. H-A-R-U. Okay. The horror specs is 125 points, and it should not be 125 <laughs> points. That is ungodly cheap. Okay. What does it do? Whoa. It does that. Picture. Whoa. <laughs> oh wow. That's uh that's a that's a big bug. That's a lot of tentacles. That's a big mouth. Is that is that an ultramarine in its mouth? You know it is. Oh, let's go. I love them. Whoa, it's this thing. Oh, it's this thing. I've seen this disgusting mini before and I love it. It's pretty. It's pretty horrible, isn't it? Oh, it's so awful. It is. This is like the preeminent. Like, oh, so you want to know what nids are like, Minnie? You look at this awful thing. Oh, it's so disgustingly great. So in in game, especially. So obviously, I, I, the, the horror specs is not particularly hard to understand. Uh, it eats everything it ever sees and then carries it back to the the pools of um, the reclamation Biomass, pools yeah. and pukes it out and then goes back. <laughs> um, pretty pretty standard tier in sh- shenanigans, but in game I find it hilarious because it, it's, so it's one the mama bird. The mo- oh yeah, I guess so. A it's little the bit. mama bird in it. It just eats everything and then just here you go, kids. Except it's into a pool, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I find it hilarious in in game because yeah, it has three sets of jaws. Um, <laughs> I but it just had one giant one, but okay. It has a, a million gribble things in its face. Yeah, uh, but it has a ungodly amount of attacks with its mouth, and then Ooh. extra attacks with its big shoveling claws on the sides. <laughs> but the funniest part is it has one shooting attack called the grasping tongue. Which can oh. specifically target enemy characters that are normally safe behind uh, their bodyguards. Uh-huh. And it's got this really wacky profile where if you roll properly and you roll the damage properly, you can basically just be like, all right, men, like, like, a, like a guard commissar or something. It's like, mm-hmm. we fight for the glory of the grabbed out of and just gets yanked <laughs> all the way back and then dies a horrible death. Aw, oh, damn, another Commissar got accidentally killed in battle. What a shame. That has the ability where when it fights, as the rule, grisly spectacle, which <laughs> after killing something, everything around it has to take like a battle shock test. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, if 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 I saw something just get grabbed by this giant spiky tongue and just get over here, I I I too would suffer battle shock. Absolutely. Sure. It's sure. pretty horrifying, this thing. Yeah, it's also a, just r- really cheap points-wise, so. Yeah, what a great mini, though. What a great mini. That is just, oh, man. It's so nasty. So there are two quick flying ones I'd like to talk about in a, in a quick second. Okay. There's the Harpy One. and the Hive Crone. Um, the Harpy is, I mean, these aren't really too exciting. They're a lot like Gargoyles. Okay. They just basically fly in the air, shoot you with cannons, and also drop spore mines on your face. Okay. Um, the so hive just a normal flying unit. Just hey, look at us, we're flying, and and they're they're big, I guess. Yeah, they're just big. They're, they're anti like aircraft. That you use them a lot when you want to destroy an enemy Valkyrie transport or mm. other aircraft that's flying in the air. You know. Gotcha. They're, they're evolved for air-to-air combat a lot. The Hive Crone especially has a big drool cannon and just goes bleh and <laughs> yeah. kills you. Yeah. So that's that's the Harpy. Uh, you yeah, know? they're pretty normal looking. Sure, sure. Also kind of broke the game in ninth edition. Oh, um, lovely, lovely. Air, aircraft in general were one of those. Mm. But it would fly over and be like, ba-boom, 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 and, and drop bombs on you, and then you would take a bunch of damage, and it was very aggravating to deal with. <laughs> Yeah, it's about what I expected from the uh, mini. It's fine. Yeah, it, it's it's fine. It's nothing yeah. particularly too exciting. Yeah. Um, but if we're going to talk about the big bug, we got to talk about the most important big bug out there. The most important by far, which is the Hive Tyrant. Ooh, I feel like I've heard about this one, but do go on. 
Uh, the Hive Tyrant is the commander. Mm-hmm. It is the big main commander, the embodiment of the Hive Mind and primary synapse conduit for the lesser Tyranid creatures. Mm-hmm. Um, they are enormous, extremely powerful monsters and uh, often tear through basically anything they get uh, put in their path. Uh, wow. There is also the famously named Hive Tyrant, the Swarm Lord. Ah, the Swarm Lord! I knew I had heard about these guys before. Yes, Love the, the Swarm Lord, because they're just the entire consciousness of, like, millions of bugs, right? Basically, they, they are a completely self-aware Tyranid. Mm-hmm. Uh, unlike the smaller ones, they are incredibly intelligent, learn from mistakes, are cunning and just like, like they, these things are about as smart as your average major general in the space Marines. They are a, mm-hmm. like a, a genuine alien strategist. Was it, which, which, uh, named ultramarine got kind of dunked on by a swarm Lord lost an arm and a leg to one or something, right? Uh, Marnius Calgar. Uh, yep. He didn't have a leg to stand on against these guys. He uh, could have used a hand against them. God damn it. Mm. Mm, All right. Mm, mm, mm. But yes, you were correct. Marty is coming. It, it absolutely did. It, it st- <laughs> like stomped on them. Um, but the weirdest and most terrifying part of the Hive Tire, besides the fact that it is not just murderous in melee often murderous in shooting because it normally has a gun sometimes Mm -hmm. and also massive psychic power and and just overall psychic strength it also is functionally immortal as after its death all of its experience knowledge and everything is stored in the hive mind and then they are rebirthed out again with all the knowledge they have Right, right. I, I, I vaguely remember that in the in the Ultramarine story because they actually managed to kill the one Swarm Lord. And they're just like, oh, hey, how come there's another one? Hmm. Very true. Yeah. Yes. I That's remember. That's the fancy little, part about them. I remember a little bit about the Swarm Lord. They're very I'm, cool. I remember really liking the mini. Swarm Lord's pretty cool. The mini's pretty good. Also, still sixth edition stuff, but uh, but I do like it. Yeah. I mean, for it seems like there's a lot of. Six oh, edition wait, no, minis of the Nids, and they're they're all actually pretty good. Like I don't I mind actually, that they're a little on the older side. Actually, these are fourth edition minis. My bad. Yeesh. Uh, these are th- these ones. I think are some of the ones that don't look bad, but they're they're really getting there. Yeah, they're they're definitely like there. There's nothing bad. They're not atrociously ugly or anything. They're obviously dated, but they're fine. Yeah, they're they're okay. That would be the Swarm Lord. Uh, um, okay, he does look a little dated. I'm not gonna lie. He he looks too skeletal. I, I guess it's just the paint job because it's so white on the under part. He looks skeletal, and I don't I don't really like that paint job. I mean, I when like you think about when you when you think about it, the what is it? The um the swarm lord and the uh, or no the, the Norn emissary is a lot closer to what we would probably think of what they would look like. In terms of its its visuals, because the Nord emissary is like the greatest thing of all time, of course, um, yeah. But uh, it is pretty pretty nasty. But the hive tyrant's like your main boy. I, I I hate that second picture of the hive tyrant with that like dangly arm going all the way over to the gun. Don't like it. I don't like that. I think it's funny. <laughs> it is funny, but it's just like that's unsettling that they can make arms like that. That's just like, <laughs> all right. There's two more things. Thing. There's two more things I want to talk about. Okay. Uh, there, there, or there's actually like 15 other things we could talk about, but once again, there's so <laughs> we're many almost nids. an hour already. So yeah, we we could go on for another six, but yeah, uh, let's not do that to shy. Shy, shy has indeed uh, read my mind. We have to do the hierophant. Uh, the uh, hierophant. Is it? <laughs> is the e actually hierophant? silent? I, I mean, if it's like hieroglyphics. Oh, yeah, which, I guess you're right. Yeah, you know. All right, never mind. Uh, the Hierophant. The Hierophant Bio Titan. 
Ooh, I do like the word Biotitan. Like that. Oh my god, what is... Wow, yes, Biotitan is a great word for that thing. So I gotta find the image that I love seeing whenever I see the the Biotitan. I'm assuming Um, it doesn't have a mini. Mini. No, it it does. Oh yeah, let's go! Where is that piece? There's that piece of art I was looking for. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, uh, there we go. Oh, it's my very God. big. <laughs> yeah, it's bigger than the spaceships. Also, there's your. Uh, well, the spaceships are are way higher up, so it doesn't really count. Whoa, but there's the that mini. mini. <laughs> Whoa, I love it. Here is a decent. Uh, oh, yep. Sorry to be me. Oh, There's the knight. My God. Whoa. It's That's very a big. big bug. <laughs> and by all accounts, it is kind of a skinny bug and it is still huge. Oh, God. One of my favorite, <laughs> my favorite memes uh, is the guardsman with the plasma gun on the left hand side of that image. And it's the it's a SpongeBob meme, so I know you don't like it, but um, or know it's it. the uh, a glaze look in the eye. Look very closely at the "I really <laughs> wish I weren't here right now" button. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's a yeah, yeah. You're you're screwed. You're screwed. Yeah. That's like a like what would you do if this happened meme, where it's just a picture of like a meteor hitting the Earth and half of the Earth exploding. It's like, well, I'm gonna die. The it's, end. I- I mean, I would probably have an easier time reading what this thing doesn't have in terms of weaponry. <laughs> Does it just have all of the Tyranid weapons at its disposal? It's got bio cannons. It's got tons of claws. It's it's heavily armored. It shoots out poisonous spores. Like, what else do you want? It's bigger than a Titan. <laughs> like, it's, it's bigger than a size knight, of like, like a Titan. <laughs> yeah, like, it's giant. <laughs> it's just the big, you're screwed Tyranid. Now, this, I, I am sure this thing has got to be absolutely, like, Tyranid players aren't running this thing because I'm assuming oh God, it's got to no. be, like, a thousand points or something. Like, it's got to be, like, half of your army. It's it's basically, I, I think it is. I I actually used to have one. It's crazy. And um, you never made it? You never, it like, was built like, it It up? was, like, half built. It was a, a oh, lot okay. of problems. Gotcha. But the, the Hierophant Biotitan is 810 points, <laughs> which is actually way cheaper than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, it's but still it basically has, half your army. <laughs> yeah. It has a dire bio cannons, bioplasma <laughs> torrent, Ooh. and then titanic scything talons and lash whip pods. Mm, it also lovely. is a transport that can carry infantry. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Look at the size of this thing. Of course it's an infantry transport, too. Sure. 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 Why not? Sure. It's got two dire bio cannons, the bioplasma torrent, and all the extra attacks. Eight attacks at strength 20, D6 plus one damage. <laughs> Gar- Love it. Gargantuan scything towns. Gargantuan. It's a lovely word. So rarely get a chance to use it. Toughness 14, two up save, 30 wounds. You love it. <laughs> Um, you actually, love to see it. It's actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be, but damn. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then last but not least, the last one I'd like to do, uh, you know, just because you guys you guys really put me in the mood from last episode. Oh, does it have thighs? Does this thing have thighs that you're going to talk about? You no, know, let's talk about the Dominatrix. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's talk. I saw this when I was doing the research and I was like, wait, is it uh, actually sorry, called Shai, Sorry, Shy, you got to deal with me right now. I was like, what the f*** is this? Well, is it actually called the Dominatrix? Yes. <laughs> no way. There's, there's a Tyranid called the Dominatrix. The Dominatrix <laughs> species name is a Tyranid species which exerts a controlling psychic aura to bring lesser <laughs> Tyranid creatures to its will. <laughs> Allowing the storm to operate under uh, its command with uncanny efficiency and tactical ability. Uh, so GW knew exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were putting out there. Okay, it's, cool. So the mini is only available in Epic, which is like a uh, a version of 40k where everything is really really tiny. Mm-hmm. Uh, therefore, it looks absolutely horrid. I can't even tell what the 
that's supposed to be? Like, what? what is that? Like, come on. Dominatrix should look like the Neuralictor. We all can agree on this, right? It should be a variant of the Neuralictor. Hello? <sighs> you good? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, good. So, uh, it, it is... It does have va- thighs, though. I was right. <laughs> it does have thighs, though. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, it apparently says that it is uh, a colossal. So, OK, because it's only an epic, we don't know much about this, but it says possesses a large array of bioweaponry and packs a colossal mass dwarfing that of an imperial super heavy tank. Ooh, which would be basically like, like a dwarfs a Bane blade. OK, so that's a, so that's a big bug. That's a it big is- old bug. It is a gargantuan composite creature of nightmarish proportions, equipped with ripping claws and fangs and a stunning profusion of symbiotic weaponry. Dominatrices are the brood queens of a Tyranid horde. They are children spawning into all the different Tyranid classes. So it's like a an uber Turvagon that doesn't just spit out Termagons. It also spits out warriors. Everything. Like, everything just starts oh. going bleh from this thing. So it's a good thing that this is just an epic model, because otherwise it seems like this would be a very popular Tyranid mini to run. I mean, it's got them birthing hips. <laughs> I mean, it has to birth literally everything. So, I mean, you know, it's understandable. It's got them birthing hips. Mm-hmm. And, I ha- and, and that's, the, that. that's the dominatrix. That's the dish. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hips don't lie. There are there are many creatures that we have we have not talked about. There's the Domicarian, there's the Malanthrope, there's all the the flying ones like the Tyrannocyte. God damn it. Like the and all the other <laughs> hive ships, but for the most part I think what is more on brand for okay, well there is that. Um that's oh. the ty- that's the Tyrannocyte. It's like a transport. Ah, uh, okay. It's a big bulbous thing. Yeah. But I don't want to girthy I- lad. That's true, Shia, yeah. I don't want to end on that, though. I want to end on the Dominatrix because it's on brand for our stream. Hell yeah, it is. And this isn't a stream, but that's okay. Me, when when the Dominatrix tier, and it does not, in fact, want to have sex and instead consumes me whole. Ah! Yeah, all right. Let's end on that. That's good. Did I press the right button? Was that was that the, the dying yeah, emoji? Yeah, that, that, that was the scream. Yeah, the dying emoji. Ah! Yeah.